Thank you. Let's give some thought today to the word defeat. Defeat can be temporary or permanent, and that very often depends on you. Are you going to let defeat defeat you? Or are you going to put up a fight and at least try to win out over it? First, of course, you've got to evaluate what you stand to lose. And if you can't stand the prospect of losing it, it seems to me you will do what you can to prevent that from happening. All right, so we're going to fight. But that doesn't mean we go jumping into the arena, all fierce and force, big battle cries and ugly noises, in the hope of scaring the opponent into submission. Why not use a little simple superior strategy to overcome him? Strategy involves quiet planning and sound tactics. Calmness and deliberation sometimes are better weapons than straining at the bit. In a World Series game some years ago, Dizzy Trout was on the mound for the Detroit Tigers. He wore glasses. He'd been ill and without practice for two weeks, and yet he had to go into a World Series game before 42,000 fans in a hostile city and pitch. That demanded calmness, and he had his own way of securing it. When things got tense, as they did quite often, he simply took off his glasses and wiped them painstakingly, while 42,000 people watched expectantly and the batter at the plate waited nervously. Then he put on his glasses and began pitching, and one by one the Cubs struck out. More about that technique in a moment. In the theater, there is a popular acting technique called method acting. The method calls for the actor to visualize and try to become the character he is to portray. He wants to get inside that person's body and mind. He might say to himself, this man I'm going to become is a well-adjusted man. He likes himself and therefore others. He feels as attractive as he actually is and therefore he behaves attractively. If the actor succeeds in assimilating this character, his performance becomes natural and convincing. He will act like a happy, well-adjusted man because he wants to feel like one. This particular technique is not unlike the one we were talking about. Picture yourself in the most positive circumstances you can realistically hope to achieve. Act as though you not only stand a pretty good chance of achieving them, but that you probably will achieve them. Then perhaps you really will.